ladies and gentlemen. up to snuff everything's moving along beautifully yes everything's moving along beautifully yes all right Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Stephen Cartwright Show. Sorry I've been missing here for a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I've been busy working on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to get everything running up to snuff, put everything back into its perspective. Tonight's show is me dealing with breakups. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, for everybody that's just now coming by, you know, I really uh, appreciate everybody uh, coming watching the show and uh, uh, and to all of our subscribers I would never stop thanking you and I appreciate all of y'all for being for uh, coming to the show and subscribing to the show and uh, all the comments are welcome uh, we are starting to get comments in, uh, uh, in now on the show and I want everybody to come on in come on in make your comment you know and uh, we just had a very nice comment to come from a gentleman and uh, I really appreciate you, and I appreciate uh, you throwing your blessings this way. But uh, anyway, uh, I am uh, uh, busy uh, working on upgrading the show, in which everybody knows I am trying to upgrade the show. All I mean, it, all this work is on me because I'm out to try to build a platform for everyone, so everybody can come in and you know uh, be heard. You know, come and be heard. 
Let's get on down in Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Me and Dylan will break up. Me and Dylan will break up. Let's get this down here. Let's fucking get into it. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Men dealing with breakups. Well, that's a hell of a topic there, I tell you. That is one heck of a topic. Sure is. One heck of a topic. Definitely. One heck of a topic. Tough topic. Yes. Mm. There we go. Men dealing with breakups. You know, let's get off into it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when we be dealing, uh, when, uh, you know, black men in particular, when we be dealing with breakups, you know, uh, coming from, you know, particularly, you know, from uh women now that is you know basically who we not, uh, mainly deal with you know we we'll be breaking up going our own way rather it don't make no difference if you're married uh short or long-term relationships relationship or uh you know even w whichever the case may be you know you know, that, that can be tough things on men. And I'm not talking about being tough all the time, you know, just breaking up and going away from them, you know. You know, it'd be the women, you know. Sorry, ladies, but it, it, it's, it's the way it is. It'd it be the women. You know, definitely uh, be the women is the most difficult to deal with. The most difficult to deal with packing bags and moving on because women tend to want to hurt you emotionally. They tend to want to get you, you know, they tend to, uh, women tend to be aggressive, you know, we all know that uh, that 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 tends to happen when you be in the middle of break uh, breakups. You know, uh, aggressive, violent. You know, you know. They use demeaning language. They they uh, uh, they 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 uh, uh, they start burning bridges with you. You know. They'll even destroy your property, you know, ratchet behavior, you know. And uh, you don't believe me? You can just just about go out there and ask any man. Now, let's, 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 let's get off into, you know, women tend to be aggressive what men have to deal with when they're breaking up with women, you know. Aggressiveness, you know, they tend to, you know, aggressively want to lock you away from your things, you know, not, uh, 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 and they tend to want to, you know, say what you can have in, in an aggressive way towards the guy. They'll even put their hands on you. We all know that 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 happens. It is what it is. Violence, yeah, they'll hit you. Sure will. They'll throw violent tendencies at you. You know, most certainly will. They will throw violent tendencies at you, aimed just at you. You know. Belittling, you know, belittling language, you know, 
They use this type of stuff with you. Belittling language such as like, you know, they'll try to, uh, you know, j just to demean you, you know, uh, tell you, you know, you, you know, they'll start talking about your sex life or anything, anything to use bad language with you. Then they'd be burning the bridge. They don't care, you know. What they have to do to bring you down emotionally, even spiritually. They, they, they strike at the very being of who you are. Women. This is what women do. All because you're angry. You know, we're going to get up into some things tonight to where we're going to tell men things how to get past uh, a lot of this type of stuff with ease. With a lot of ease. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, destroying property, you know, they will even destroy your property. They'll destroy property. They will do that with the quickness. Destroy your property, you name it, they'll do it. Sure will. You know, if you got something breakable, it's just, you, you, you know, and they got their hands on it, you can almost kiss the baby goodbye. Ratchet behavior. Stomping. Talking loud. Trying to do everything in the world to embarrass you. This is what men have to deal with during breakups with women. Men deal with these things. We deal with these things on a very high level with women, especially black women in particular. Sure do. We deal with these things. Oh, I can go into so much more detail. That's why I always say that a lot of the women, they should go take a look in the mirror and look at themselves and they need to change. Just because you're emotional creatures is not an acceptable excuse. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, we are not uh, uh, your property. You know, it, it's like you, 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 it's, you know, treat like a house or a car. You're mad because you're losing it. Or you want to belittle it because you think you done used it all up. You done you, uh, got what you wanted out of it. You know, men are tired of being treated like a dog you don't want or a house or car you can't keep. Men are tired of being treated like that. A dog that you don't want or a house or a car that you can't keep. We're tired of it. Most definitely tired of it. You know. This type of behavior we see all the time, constantly, especially out of ladies. Especially out of ladies. Let's get off into it, ladies and gentlemen.
you know, let's go to it, man. Protecting yourself. Let's talk about protecting yourself, gentlemen. Let's get off and do it from such things. You know, let's talk about protecting yourself. You know, you know, depends on how the relationship is or 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 was. Depends on how the relationship is or how it was. Leave, gentlemen. Find a way to sneak out unannounced. You know, one way to hold down on a whole lot of havoc. Get your things and be gone before she gets back. Don't tell her a thing. Don't destroy anything. But just get your things. When she's not there, don't tear up the place. Get what belongs to you. Pack it up and be gone. Pack it up and be gone. That's a way you keep down on a lot of static and let that be that. Avoid confusion as best as you can. As best as you can. Because I'm going to tell you, if you let that lady get involved, the reason why I say that, the best way to leave, let's go back a little bit. The best way to leave is go unannounced. That way you can get your stuff in peace or get whatever you got to get that belongs to you in peace and she don't know it. And you, when she come in, everything that was hers is still in this place. Ain't no police involved. Ain't none of that stuff. Can't nobody call no police. Can't nobody can't say nothing. But if you let her get involved, the overwhelming majority of the time, there's going to be issues. There's going to be issues. This is something I want y'all to understand, gentlemen. And the first thing they're going to blame it on is being emotional. You know, I'm sorry, but that boat just don't fly no more. Men are tired of that. You know, every time you look up, you know, they want to get all emotional, uh, 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 primarily over a lot of things that they done caused. You know, they, they uh, you know, uh, 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 women, uh, a lot of women, a lot of, lot of, lot of, you Jim don't understand. A lot of women can be very, very. Uh, they, they can be some, you know, real live hypocrites, liars. It, it, it is what it is, and not just saying things just to be saying things. They really can, you know. I find that a lot of women they have a hell of a hard time keeping their word. That's another thing, too. You, you run into a woman that can't keep her word, try to let her go. You know, you, you, only, you only get you only get a certain you only get maybe one or two chances with that. You know. Never leave yourself with a woman without a second place to go. Without somewhere is going to be a safe haven for you. Never do without a plan B. A second place to go. Regardless if you are on the place that where she's living at, where y'all both are living at, always keep you a way out, a plan B. Always keep your plan B. It doesn't make any difference how you say it, how you call it. 
keep your plan B. You always want a way to be able to get out and move on. And you're going to be able to do it with the smallest of inconveniences. Because you don't want your life being put in turmoil. See, a woman will put your life in turmoil. A woman will send your life into a tailspin if she can. This is something that a lot of you gentlemen, young men and old men must understand. You cannot fully trust them fully, period. Can't do that. This is something that we all must understand. You know, we have to go in our own mind. Ain't that much trust in the world. Not when it comes to them, especially when they are, are, they are 100% purely un, uh, uh, unproven. And a lot of women, they love doing all that talking. There's, 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 there's another thing, you know, when they always talk about that stuff, communicate, 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 communicate. Now, there's some of them be talking about, let's argue. Think of things to argue about. Think of things to start a whole bunch of shit about. You know. They don't realize when you talk on the phone, you're communicating. When you are in the house and you're talking, you're communicating. Stay away from ugly subjects with them. Don't, in, don't indulge yourself in all that so-called communication with them. Never tell a mama and then also, too, how much money you're making. No. We have to get away from that too, gentlemen. Always tell a woman what kind of money we make. Uh-uh. We need to get away from that. Don't tell her what you make. Don't tell her how much money you got from time to time because you have to remember, she's not going to tell you. You know what you make. She's not going to tell you what she's making. Let loans going to share as little as possible with you. We have to get away from them type of things. Especially in this modern Western world. Western world. Never tell her about your money. And another thing, we got to stop sharing accounts. Uh-uh, don't share no account. Whatever you're supposed to be paying, you, you need to be paying that. You know, you have to remember, these are not traditional women anymore. These are not traditional women. You know, Never tell a woman also, too, about the security plan that you have for yourself. No. Never tell her about the security plan that you have for yourself. And always keep you one. Men out here today, you must protect your own safety and security. Don't be letting no woman put you in a position where she can put you outside. This is the stuff we be dealing with when we uh, when men be dealing with breakups. This is stuff that we be dealing with. Time to put that stuff to bed, put that head to bed, you know, and stop always trying to let them lead in what a man should be. That's in order to drain you to where you have no other avenues. Time to open us up our own avenues as men. Never tell them about the security plan you have for yourself. 
Storing away extra money, but don't don't tell them what you got. Now you you start screwing it over, you just gonna suffer that because that's some no touch. That's my money. I can get out there and get ghosts. You you know what I'm saying? Or, or my place, I can go get ghosts. You wanna act a fool? Fine. You take care of that stuff yourself. It is time for men to take control of their lives. We're not going to put up with that. Either you're going to act right or we're going to go and we're going to put ourselves in a position where we're going to have minimum, very minimum inconveniences and we're going to move on without you. We're going to move on without you. So be it. Go ahead. Be smart ass. All, all that shit don't mean nothing. Because you know what? At the end of the day, we cannot allow that type of stuff to keep going on and affecting our lives like that. I'm going to say it like my grandparents said. Either shit or get up off the pot. Always, always, gentlemen, pay your bills first before you pay any woman. Pay your bills first because you got to live too. Don't you let your bills go uh, 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 due and past due because of, uh, uh, because of her bills. Uh-uh. Don't do that. Because you got to remember, number one, it's foolish economics. Number two, she made those bills, not you. And number three, most thing of all things, these are not traditional women. You cannot treat them with tradition. They study getting everything what they want, but you're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get what you want. They're going to put in... The bare minimum. You know, I see a lot of ladies uh, from Africa. You know, I just, I, I want to take that. And, you know, we want to throw a, a lot of the conversation in with the Africans. You know, because I'm very proud of them. You know, those ladies over there, that's a, 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 a totally separate um. Uh, uh, culture, a very good one too. Can't knock that, you know, because those are traditional women. But I would like to say to them, this culture over here, and I want y'all to fully understand, these, you know, a lot of the ladies over here, they're not traditional like you are. And I've asked them to, even the men, take a, very, very close thought before you give an answer. Think about it. The women over here, they want the men to be traditional, but they're not traditional women. A lot of men over here are traditional. Yes, they are. But the women are not. And, you know, I want to throw in this here too. But uh, uh, for, uh, 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 for Africa over there, I just want to let you know, here at the Stephen Cartwright Show, we are very, very proud of them. Very, very proud of the country. Y'all making a lot of good decisions over there, and we see it. See, we see it here, you know. And we love y'all for that. Sure do. And y'all have a voice here, too. Do not be afraid to voice, to use your voice here. You will be heard. And we love y'all and, and, uh, 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 and, uh, 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 and y'all should be very proud of your leaders over there. Forget what they're talking about over there. We see you from here. And what you're doing over there is very, very inviting. Is 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 it's attractive. I know that. But anyway, let's get back into it. I wanted to leave that announcement for Africa. 
Uh, never reveal to the modern woman your safety plan for yourself. Don't even reveal it. Especially over here, now over here in America. Do not reveal it. Do not allow your lady to know. No, don't even let her even know about it. If everything works out good between you, that's great. That's extra what y'all have. But men cannot afford to keep walking and not protecting themselves, not only emotionally, financially, and protecting their overall well-being. Not with these ladies. Not over here. Because all they talk about is money, 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 money. And you got average women won't, you know, $100,000 men, but you don't bring that type of value to that man's life. But men understand you're not going to be able to, no one's going to be able to totally bring what he brings to his own life, but it's got to be the pieces, the correct pieces that he needs to make his life more better. A lot of you're supposed to be the person that a man can fully let his guard all the way down with, and that is something that, that, that that's supposed to be, you know, not his rock, but his comfort zone. A woman is supposed to always be a man's full comfort zone. When you break up with a woman, they act with you like this, you know, being aggressive, demeaning language, burning bridges with you, destroying your property, ratchet behavior. Last but not least, after you done got away from her, never take her back. Don't take her back. You take her back, you fool. Sure is. Never take her back because she ain't gonna change. Let her wish later on in her life that she wish she had never done that. Let her wish it, not you. Let her bring that down upon herself.
All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get back off into it. Let's get back off into it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, moving on. Uh, had to take this short break here, but anyway, we're going to move on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to move on for me and uh, moving on with your life. Don't look back. Uh, let me tell you, this is some, a lot of the good things that's going to come out of this, you know, when you have moved on with your life from these, uh, 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 uh from toxic situations, you know, you can't always look down on things as it's a bad thing, you know, it puts you, when you done moved away, it puts a man, especially a man, in a very, very unique position. It puts you in a unique position where you can rebuild your life better than ever before. If you plan it right. You can rebuild your life better than you ever did before. You have to be able to look at it from the positive side. You have to be able to look at it from the positive side. Yeah, look at it from the positive side. Yeah, look at it from the positive side. And let's get off into some of that. The positive side. The positive side of getting rid of somebody that's bad for you, that's toxic for you, that was toxic for you, you don't have to deal with them no more. The more money you keep, the better for you. You are able to think 
while they busy, you know, going off with their family members and friends and all that stuff, talking dirty about you, you got time enough to clear your mind. Ain't nothing like peace. See, when you got peace, you can think. When you got a peace of mind, you are much, much more healthier. When you ain't got all that stress, ain't no telling. Uh, 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 the more days you go without having all that stress, ain't no telling how many more days you add back. You start adding time, more time to your life. More youth. To you. You add more youth to yourself. Walking around, you know. Cause some lady, she can't, you know, she, she don't want to act right. She, she, she want, she uh, uh, just got chaos on the mind, or, or you know, just got to be a distraction because she wants some negative attention. Just try to keep you all thrown off, but when you move on with your life, I say it again. It puts you in a very unique position. A very, very unique position. The position you be in, oh my goodness. And we're going to talk about even if you have children, we're going to talk about that too. Or if you have a child. We're going to get off into all of that tonight. Certainly is. Yes. We're going to get into it tonight. After the first day of your separation, you are not with her. You ain't seen her for that first day. Make your life all about you. Nobody guides your life but you. Make your life about you. Make your life about what you want to do. Make your life about what is right for you. Everything, make it all about you. They can call it selfish. Let them call it. Let them say whatever they want to say about it. Let them say it. Doesn't make any difference. Make it all about you. Because them, they're going to go and they're going to make it about their, their mama, their daddy, their sisters, their brothers, their friends, their, 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 uh, 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 their co-workers, their bosses, all that. They're, everybody's coming in. So you, you, I mean, you, you know, learn how to deal with things mentally. Learn how to do You don't need all that. because. When you look at that and when they go to all these people like that, I want y'all to remember something. When they go to all those people like that and they got all those friends, those people have more influence over your woman than you do. That's not a good situation. Because they do. Because they tell them everything. Believe me, they do. Some women talk too much about what's going on in their own houses, and they do it on the cut. Certainly do. Make your life about you. Gentlemen, don't worry about what your ex is doing. Don't be sitting up worrying about what she doing. What she do is what she do. If she done hopped on to the next guy, so what? Doesn't make any difference. That's something you don't want to know and don't care to know and don't need to know. Don't let anything come as a surprise to you. Nothing. 
Don't let nothing come as a surprise to you. Because you got to remember, it's about, because you got to remember, it's about you. In your life. Let's get real about this, ladies and gentlemen. Fellas, make your position clear. Make your position very, very clear. Time to stop playing games. Let's stop playing games. Make your position very, very clear. Inside of you and who you are. And while you're busy doing it and you making your position clear, protect your peace at all costs. That's what being in a unique position is all about. You can you 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 can you can channel your life in the most positive of all aspects. You can channel your life into the positive in all aspects. You don't need all that headache. That's why I say concentrate on you and what's best for you. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference what the case may be. Next thing, gentlemen, never allow your ex to know where you live once you are away from her. And I say this here, children are no children. You can pick up the phone for that. But I don't want you to know where you land, where I'm laying, where, uh, uh, where I lay my head at, where I lay my head at, and I don't care to know where yours at either. We're going to get off into some other things about that. This is called totally claiming who you are and who you want to be, gentlemen. Because when you leave a toxic relationship or you're, it, it, a, a toxic relationship, it puts you in a very, very unique position. It puts you in a place where you are in the driver's seat. You got your life by the horns. If you got children, we got to stop them from using this avenue too. If you got children, especially for the disrespectful women, the one that was just totally disrespectful, and stop being so forgiving about the things that even the ones that is not so bad, you need to stop being so forgiving. And if you got children, especially for the ones that is disrespectful, ain't nothing but Trouble, put other people in between you. If you got children, put other people in between you. Do not allow them to use that child or that avenue to keep tabs up on your life. There's a way to keep a child from, you know, letting them know what everything what is going on. You, you can monkey wrench that. That is an easy monkey wrench. Have someone to always bring the child to you because you don't want that woman knowing where you live at. 
A lot of these ladies, they'll come by with their friends or they'll stake your house out. Sure will. Always have somebody to bring the child. Put somebody in between you and that woman. In that trouble. Or that potential burden to your peace. Or that potential burden to your growth. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. In the person that you want to. The, uh, uh, the person that you want to be. Because a woman will tear that up. Certainly will. And do not allow her to use that child as a crutch in order to be able to get to you in order to tear up and be destructive in your life. This is something that men must understand. Destroy, gentlemen, destroy the co uh, destroy the co parenting notion. Live a totally different life. Over here it ain't no partnership. In your house ain't no partnership. I parent, in your house, you parent the way you want to parent. But just be better than them about it. No, you don't co-parent with them. They love to highlight this co-parent bullshit. Don't do nothing but mess up the child. That's all it does. They love to scream out that co-parenting shit. All they thinking about is they got that crutch there. If they don't want you, they can still use it to reap habit. Just be an asshole. You, gentlemen, we must tighten up and tighten the reins. We must become a, 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 a more... Selfish and make it more about what we want. We got to start opening up and we got to start we, we got to start telling these people what we want. Instead of looking at I always talking that old co-parenting bullshit. Totally separate your life. Do not compromise your position, your happiness in any way. Don't compromise your position or your happiness. This is for you guys. Do not compromise your position or your happiness in any way. You can take care of your child and stuff and be able to do all of these things. They can call you an asshole. They can call you whatever the hell they want to call you. But you don't compromise shit. Nothing. No. We have paid too many prices for it. Because if you allow women to do it, they will bully your life. 
They will bully and ruin your happiness. Do not compromise your happiness. Do not compromise your position. Your happiness in any way. Don't do it, gentlemen. It ain't worth it. Hell no. Most women you break up with Mean you no good. Reclaim your happiness to the fullest. Reclaim your happiness to the fullest. Because I'm going to tell you something. Somebody once said to me. From the moment you break up with somebody. The day you won, you first be away from them. You are beginning, you have begun to live a totally different life from that person. You live in a totally different life. And if you see a vision in it, you take it. And you walk. And don't drop no pieces. And if you can run without dropping pieces, you run. And reclaim your life. That's why I, I'm telling you. I named this thing. Men. Dealing with breakups. Breakups are costly. Reclaim your happiness to the fullest. Forget what she doing. Don't think about what she doing. The hell with all of that. Let it be over with. Said and done. Get the hell out. It is time for us men to reclaim our lives because we tried to make them, good men tried to make them a part of their lives. We have to be picky and choosy about who we let into our lives. Let it be all about you. Not that you want to become this selfish Di a, a, a tyrannosaurus but you know what if it works for you so be it that don't mean it's got to go for everybody in that life that means it goes for the toxic stuff that has been going on in your life and it's finally over think about it gentlemen think about it think about it Think about everything that you went through with this person and how far along that you could have been. I hear them all the time talking about, I'm talking about these women. We're going to stretch this show a little bit tonight. I hear these women talk about all the time how they think that Men is always intimidated by them. Intimidated by their success. Men intimidated by them. I'm going to tell you like this here. Always look at that like this here, gentlemen. Always look at it like this here. Men, I say this to all the women. Men are not intimidated by you. I can tell you the men, the one that they talking about, is the men that, that, that they have been messing with. That had nothing going on for themselves. The Pookies, the Ray Rays, the Day Days, the Tay Tays, and the Do Dirties. And the men that has nothing but time for you. Those are the men that are intimidated by you, but not the kind of men that, you know, I hang around with. Because I'm going to tell you right now, ain't no, ain't, ain't no man that I be hanging around no one near intimidated by you. The men that's intimidated by you is the men that ain't got nothing going for themselves. 
It's not because you got more or whatever. You can have more. A son or a man can have less than you and have things going for himself. Besides, you don't own it anyway. <laughs> you never own it. Not here in this country. That's what I have to say to that anyway. The only one intimidated by you is the sorry jokers that you've been dealing with. Not the kind of man, especially not like I be around. Sure ain't. Anyway, gentlemen, let your life be all about you once you leave that toxic situation. Don't get me wrong. If that woman is good, stay with that woman. You know, is she good? You're climbing. You're doing, you know, you, 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 you know, you're climbing. That's, that's good. But if you were a woman and all she want to do is go buy Birkin bags and she don't want to grow. Everything ain't bought the nicest, expensive purse that you can build. How you living? How you living? How you living? You know these women are unrealistic when they expect uh, 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 they be 18, 22. The women between, they be between uh, 18 and, you know, 30 years old. Expecting a young man from uh, 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 18 to 30 years old to be snatching in $100,000 a year it doesn't make any sense. How can, and then with the women, you know, how can you call yourself a 10 when? You're not in your natural hair and you're not in your natural beauty. Men measure you by your natural beauty. So I'm kind of jumping away a little bit because I'm talking tonight. I'm just kind of on fire a little bit. You know. But anyway, let me get back to the topic. Gentlemen, let it be all about you. Build your life. Build who you are. A lot of jokes, if they want to act like that, so be it. Let them be like that. Worry about you and watch and see what happens. Because when you become single and put that woman out of your life, you don't let her know what you're doing. Don't be letting her know where you lay your head at. If you got kids, don't make no difference. Put somebody in between, especially if she was highly disrespectful. Don't even talk to her. Now, it, it, because it's not to, don't let, don't make yourself feel like because you were bitter about it. Let it be because you ain't looking for them type of problems. You don't want them type of problems in your life. You ain't don't care about what they say about it. You know what they all about and stop being so damn forgiving. Cut that out. Don't be so damn forgiving. I say that to all men, and I say that in the, uh, 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 in the best of intentions and for the greater good of your sanity, you name it. We have to stop being so forgiving. And we have to start become and become the best version of ourselves because we got a lot to give. And we're tired of dealing with women that just want to deal with it for what they can get out of it. 
Now, all that stuff got the end. Dealing with you just because of what they can get out of you? Uh-uh. Well, stop all that. We, I mean, we understand that when you have a woman, you got to take care of her. But look now, if they just bringing nothing but some tail that, can, that they can do whatever they want to do with, it ain't worth it, man. I'm telling you, it's not. It's just the truth and the fact. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I am getting ready to bring this segment to a close and uh i'm going to be busy working on the show upgrading the show this week and uh, uh i will be putting out videos and uh uh doing uh what i can to make the show more better the show's gonna get better but I want everybody to know I'm doing all this. I'm building this whole show myself. Ain't no specialist coming in here. I'm building this whole show myself, and I want y'all to be a part of it. And ladies and gentlemen, when y'all come through, you see this show, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, describe that subscribe button. You know, come on in because the Stephen Cartwright show is going to be here. And we ain't going nowhere because the content's going to get better. We're out to help men. We're out to make life greater and better. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting ready to bring this live stream to a close. We love y'all. Think it was a good segment tonight. And, uh, whoo, had a lot of fun doing this here. This is my longest show ever. This is the longest one ever. And more content is, it, it, I told you, it's going to get fire. It really is. It's going to catch fire. And to all my subscribers, viewers, listeners, we love y'all. And from the Stephen Cartwright Show, and my name is Stephen Cartwright, and I am the host of the Stephen Cartwright Show. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, aha. Uh -huh. Peace out. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Stop dealing with all that mess like that. Some of them want to break up with you and then all that acting a fool. Trying to call the police, get you put in jail. All because you're mad, because you screwed up or or um, whatever the case may be. Time to go times out on all that stuff. Peace.